the annual reunion of members of the Obafemi Awolowo University Muslim Graduate Association, UNIFEMGA, kick off with a Jumat service at the Institutional Central Mosque, where Dr. Abdul Fattah Makinde appealed to all Muslims to involve in active politics for the betterment of the society. <laughs> So Muslims are expected to participate fully in electing leaders of our country. And as stakeholders, the Ummah has to mobilize the Muslims to do the needful. Unifenga members with their friends and associates convert on Odudua All of the Obafemi Awolowo University for a lecture titled Politics, Governance and Muslim Helit, delivered by Professor Ishak Lakin Akintola. Muslims must vote and be voted for. Muslims must be in government, not as underdogs, but as rulers and followers. We must be in politics to defeat the agents of neo-colonialism. We must put an end to political marginalization, economic strangulation, and social dehumanization. The Islamic scholar also told Muslim Huma to always pray for the unity and peace of the country. Who are already in politics, they should seek uh, positions, higher positions than they are now. Uh, they should work diligently with party leaders so that they can also occupy positions. Urging the Muslims to come out, be in politics. Le Muslims want to live uh, a prudent lives. They want to be careful, they want to be spiritual. Many of them consider uh, politics as dirty, a dirty game. And so they don't want to join it. But we are saying you can be in politics without being dirty. Some of the people that are present at the lecture commended the lecturer and urged Muslim Umar not to say politics as a sin, but a good profession that should involve godly people for good governance. He says that, number one, we need to first do our civic duty as a responsible citizen of Nigeria and get registered as a voter with a permanent voter's card so that we are eligible to vote. Or the other, to also do the same so that we all can come together and select uh, leaders that we can all be proud of, that will represent us. The Muslims have a duty, like the Imam said, we have a duty to participate in the political process. That's very crucial. Mm. The Muslim Ummah will contribute tremendously to the 2023 uh, general elections, one is those of them that are contestants for various offices should play the game in accordance with the rules of Islam. They must do it with fear of Allah and they must have the intention of going there to save the community, not to serve themselves. Actually, Muslims are already contributing. We are contributing from the angle of uh, religious morality and religious stand. That is to tell our members and to tell Nigerians that they should put the fear of Allah in whatever they are doing. Muslims have shown apathy in the past concerning elections. Well, regard to the 2023 uh, election that is coming up, so he has charged all Muslims, particularly in Nigeria, to come out in their large numbers to ensure that they also participate in election. The peak of the event was the presentation of grants and scholarship to 105 students of the Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife. The beneficiaries of the grants were full of joy and commended the organizers of the program. Uh, I'm really happy today to be among the scholars who have been awarded a scholarship award here and I feel so happy. I'm glad to be a beneficiary of this program and I pray the Almighty Allah continue to bless Unifemga. The honor of Ife Obaadiye Yeniton Ogoosi, ably represented by Alara of Ara, Oba Adibisilayade, who commended Unifemga for the scholarship and grants given to the students of the university and appealed to them to come and build mosque in his village. <laughs> So 
So, I think I know what they are. They want to want to most of the people who are not the one. The Unifenga Annual Union event was held at various venues within the Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife, for three days. Obafemi Awolowo University Muslim Graduate Association, Unifenga, is an association that caters for Islamic Brotherhood through education, scholarship, dawa, and economic empowerment. Abdul Fattah Owolabi, NTN News.